can see I'm getting uh, 200 okay. okay and I'm getting the response also okay so you can clear this data later on I'll just push the code okay so you can see what I'm doing I have this API URL and passing the data and uh, as it is a promises uh, I have this dot then callback and uh, whatever response I'll be getting after hitting the URL uh, that response I'm printing it okay so uh, we also have dot finally right whatever response you'll be getting that also you can print it over here so why is this finally used for let's say uh, whether it is a uh, positive or negative like uh, whether you are getting uh, response or you are getting error finally will be executed in both the cases right so let's say i have a loader okay so, so for the very first time i'll keep my loader as uh, false then uh, when i hit on submit button uh, until the response comes uh, what i can do i will make my uh, loader as true right uh, what's that set loader and uh, whatever the response is whether it is uh, I mean, then or catch right you can make it uh, loader as false again so once you get the response then you will have to make it false again right so whatever case it is you can do it here only instead of repeating in both the then and catch you can write only once okay so you can have this dot finally also for now i'll just write finally so uh, you want to see like whether data has been added or not okay you state i need to define it so when i uh, hit on this see i'm getting it right i'm getting the data so this is your adding okay adding a user or adding an employee whatever yeah so you state I'll define it now uh, let me have a list so add employee employee list here um let's have a use state this time it didn't initially let it be just an array nothing else because uh, as you can see uh, the data which i'm getting is a array of object right this is uh, an array of object see that it's an array with three items okay so now we'll again make a api call now let's say list employee method will have it let list employee equal to yeah we'll have a table first table okay in list employee let me have axios okay so now uh you are in uh, so the same URL I can use for getting a data. That's it. response. Now, where can I call this? Here it was uh, kind of straightforward because when we were clicking on this button, this function was getting called. Along with that, this was getting executed. But here, yeah, as I, I just want to render the data, right? I don't want to click anywhere to show the data. As soon as I render, then I want to display the data. What should I use? Use effect hook. Yeah. Uh, people having the habit of writing uh, like this directly. Okay, so I among list employer calling. If you want to do any cleanup. You can do it over here in this condition you want to apply only on data i want to call this and only in this case only it has to re-render otherwise it should not okay so now uh, let's see whether we are getting the data or not for that what we'll do in add employee only we will have one more div this is a form right let's have Div inside that div will keep one form. In the other div will keep a employee. So it should come. Um, I mean, uh, one after the other in the same row. So for that, I need to write a style. Two divs uh, in the same row. 
could not find employee list does not match the corresponding name on desk. Okay, let me check why. Why is it uh, importing it? Okay. Yeah, correct. And then Okay, now use effect. Yeah, I need to import use effect. Employee list, okay. Uh, I had uh, imported in add employee. Done. So let's simply write. Um, You see, uh, we are rendering employee list also. Why is it not coming in the same row? Parent has to be display flex. Fine. Anyways, you can see I'm getting this uh, employee. Let's go to header. Uh, it is a get request. You can see, right? And uh, when we hit on that uh, URL, we are getting this response. Okay. So now we can bind it. You can see the console also. So the data in this uh, data, we need to point to data. Okay, this is what we are getting. Okay, array of object it is. So let's have uh, the table. So we'll write name. Array. Name, position, office, and salary. Name. Then we'll have a. Okay, I forgot to write. Uh, so this tr will keep it inside because it will create a table row for each uh, record right and the data okay we'll have to update this data to map it over here right so here now we know that we are getting the response right so uh, we'll, we'll update the data for error also if you want to update it somewhere you can do it now I'll just write a uh, response, response dot date. Then, um, yeah, NTR data dot equal to, okay, we'll have the ID, right? So we'll just write response, response dot uh, Let's see the output. Expected an assignment or function call and instead some expression. Line number 37. Let me just see what uh, response I'm getting. Uh, I'll simply write. So where access is getting closed? Uh, okay, let me check. I think I'm missing something. Keep on getting called. data so here we'll call it only once and let me do one thing let me write and wait for the data It is uh, keep on loading. I'll just enable that. Okay, because of this, it is. Mm -hmm. 
What is it? Line number 15. It is not updating. Let me check the response. Line number 10 and line number 11 is set data. The response dot data. Okay, let me just write response dot data. Ah, response dot We'll just be getting the data. Why is it not updating then? Some other approaches here. Yeah, just let me just check. Read the value or enter from 